Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-machine.com. In this video guys, we will talk about how you can make a delete call or delete request using Playwright. Now, this is the fourth video and in the previous videos, we already discussed how you can make a get call. Then we discussed how you can make a post call and along with that, we have seen how you can pass headers and payload. And then we discussed about put and patch. Now I will be using same example. So in case if you're watching this video for the first time, then I would highly recommend you to watch the previous videos too, so that you will get clear understanding about the flow. I will try my best to explain you what exactly we're doing, but you will get more detail when, if you go through the previous videos too. Yeah. So let's start. Now, basically this is a hotel booker APIs. It's a sample APIs. Now what we will do, we will be creating bookings. Okay. So the moment you create any booking, using post, you can also delete them. Now, when you delete this booking, you need to have a booking ID, for example, booking ID one, booking ID one zero two, or whatever booking you have, you can delete that booking using delete call. And you need to pass two headers. One is content type, which is application JSON, and you will be passing token. So booking ID, we will get dynamically. We will also get token dynamically using today's example. And if everything goes well, if these APIs are working as expected, you will be getting response 201 and created. Now don't get confused with this response message and the code. This is totally depends on the implementation. Ideally, when you make a delete call, you generally get 204 and you get here no content, but depends on the developers, how they have implemented that API you might see a different response. So always check out the documentation. We'll go as per this document. Let me create a new spec file or I can reuse the previous one because in the previous one, we have already created a token. So let me copy the previous one. I will quickly copy and paste here. This is a copy. Let me rename this. Let me rename this to delete call or maybe you can say delete booking. So let me maximize and guys, this is exactly what we have done. So I will quickly give you a recap what we did. So this is our one post API. What exactly we are doing? We are making a post call and we are getting one token. Okay. That token I'm printing. So just to keep it simple, I will remove some additional line, which is not required. So this is data. This is fine. We got the token we are printing. Once we got the token, we are creating a new booking. So for creating a booking, I created another payload, first name, last name, price. Then we are creating one booking at runtime and we are getting a booking ID. Okay. And I'm printing here. So let me first show you so that you will get what data we have and we will extend this example. So let me first run the previous test. It created a token at runtime. It also created a booking booking IDs 1875. In this example, I will be deleting this booking ID. Now guys, in your case, any, uh, the API endpoint can be anything, but focus on the main part, how to make a delete call. So I will continue from here. We already have created a test. And the test name is delete example. We are using one fixture, which is request fixture. Come down. And now I will use await request dot delete. The moment you make a delete call, you can see sends HTTP delete request and returns its response. And in case if you have any parameters, you can pass. For example, you can pass data, which uh, needed in case if you go with post for delete, we don't need data, but definitely we need headers. Apart from this, you can also pass these additional options, ignore HTTP errors, maximum redirects, maximum read rights, and so on. I will make a delete call. How do we get the URL? The URL is, let's say this. Obviously this is a hard coded booking ID. We don't need this, right? What we will do, we have already created 
booking ID from our previous example. So whatever booking ID will get, let's say one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, I will be passing that same booking ID. Now I need to provide provide these two headers. You can say hyphen H hyphen H. So put curly braces and now type headers. Now put colon curly bracket open and close and let's pass our first header. So this is key and value. Content type is the key and this is our value which is application JSON. This is one header. I need to pass one more header. Right. So I will put comma here. Again double quotes I will say cookie colon double quotes and I will pass this value. Now obviously this token is invalid which is ABC123 right. We have already created a token here auth token right JSON response dot token. So I will be using this variable. So instead of giving 123 remove this use plus and append this token. So basically we are doing a string concatenation not appending and our delete call is done. The moment we make this delete call we will be getting response. So let me store this and I will call this as delete response. Now let me check the status code what exactly we are getting. So I will say await delete response. First I will get the status. So it should return me 201. So this is okay. So basically this status method that we are using, it will not return any response. So no need to write await here. Similarly, if I want to print the status text, you can see we have a method called status text. Let's see whether we are getting the proper response or not. So I'm going to execute this example. You can see it created that booking. We got the booking ID and now we are deleting. So when I said this one, print the status, it gave me 201. And when I say status text, it gave me created. Now I totally understand that you might be confused, but this is how the documentation is saying and it is giving as per the document, okay, 201 and created. Ideally it should be 204 and no content, depends on the implementation. Now we can also put assertions, right? Because printing will not help. What we would, we will do here, we will first print and we'll put assertion that expect that this status that we're capturing it should be 201 I will say 2b 201 so in case something goes wrong it is giving something else it should fail similarly I can also put assertion for this so let's do that as well I will say again expect capture the status text and it should be created. So again, to be and we'll get, say created. Let's quickly execute one more time. Now, if you do not have this plugin, you can directly run from the terminal too. Since I have installed this plugin, it is running right this time six zero, sorry, six one four and it deleted too. Now we can do one more check. So basically if I delete this booking, and if I make a further API call to this particular booking, it should not give me the booking, right? If you come back to the documentation, you will see we have one dedicated API call get booking. So where if I pass a valid booking ID, let's say one or six, one, eight or any valid booking ID, I should get this, right? 200 okay and the body. Now in our case, since we are deleting this, obviously I will not 
expect any response i will get 404 so this is one additional assertion that once you delete let's try to make one more request and we'll make a get request so this will be our endpoint right now since this is a string i don't need this now apart from this we also have to pass okay do we have to pass any headers no that's all what i will do again i will say get response let me first print so if i say get response what is the status dot status and along with that i will also print the text so status text let's see after deleting what is the status coming and what is uh, status text if you want a dedicated separator this is just for formatting purpose i'm going to create one separator let's keep this separator here too so that in output you will not get confused and here we go now since we are deleting that booking and when i make a get call i am getting 404 which is expected and the text says not found so this is double validation and now you can put assert here so here we use expect and we can copy paste that get the response get the status and it should be 404 and here expect again status text that we captured which is not found it should be not found now obviously this will pass because right now all these apis are working as expected but by any chance something goes wrong and if you're not getting the desired result we have so many assertions they will fail and you will see in your result as well just to show you now i will obviously give some random value to make it fail i'm expecting 401 and the one which we're getting from api is 404 and it failed expected says 401 received 404 and it failed it says equality error yeah so yeah this is how you can put a session guys i hope you got the clarity how we can make get post put patch and delete now i want you to give a try try different apis from your side try to automate them try to put a session if you face any issues let me know in the comment section and guys if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe this channel share with your friends and colleagues who are learning playwright and if you are struggling with any specific topic that also you can let me know in the chat section or comment section and i will try my best to make video on that thank you so much i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care